Greetings everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use Camp Out by Parallel42. This is a mod that nests itself in Microsoft Flight Simulator, allowing you to set up living, custom campsites anywhere with any aircraft. To show you that you can use any aircraft, I'm going to fly my H-135 helicopter to the campsite. When picking a spot, you should consider the ground. The simulator has a few different ranges of grass. Low grass or dirt works best, so nothing goes through the objects. Once you find a spot you like to begin, you will find the camp out icon in your toolbar and clicking the plus symbol will take you to an object menu. Each object you place costs points. You have 200 points until you cannot place any more objects in the world. This allows you to set up several campsites around the world until you have to delete them to make space for new ones. If we want to add a tent, we can select the color, and some objects have certain attributes you can select and deselect. The tent, for example, has an option for a lamp to be on or not. Once the object is placed, you can easily rotate it and move it around where you need it. Next, we'll place a chair and a cooler. The cooler is another object that has some choices. You can have it closed, open, or open with a beverage removed. When placing a fire, you can also select it on or off, or add a cookout. The campsite doesn't have to be near your aircraft either. The designated camping area is actually over here at this strip, and I can set up my objects by this bench if I want to. Now all this stuff is just for fun, and as someone who grew up playing object placing games like The Sims, I appreciate these features a whole lot as something to do when I arrive at a strip. Where this becomes most useful from a flying aspect, I would say, is the ability to drop smoke and wind socks into the world, and it's a great thing to take advantage of. I wish I had this when I was doing more bush flying streams. Uh, most of the time when you scout random strips, you have no way to mark them or know what the wind is doing, and this would allow you to map out some hard to find strips with smoke and know the wind direction too. And the great thing is that you can turn the sim off and on again and find these objects right where you left them the last time. Now, another cool feature is you can actually export and save these object sets and come back and load them later. You can also give your friends a link to the object sets that they plug in to their camp out and they can actually see the objects that you have placed once they get within the green proximity of the aircraft. They can see the smoke, wind socks, and stuff you place, so that's really cool for live streaming group flights, you know, where you go bush flying. I really enjoyed using Camp Out. I would love to see more objects added with the updates, but as of right now, it really gives you more to do on your bush flights. And I don't think it will end here with what I'm showing, because Parallel 42 is not known to release a project and then never touch it again. They generally add all kinds of free DLC and goodies along the way after releases, so that's really nice. Um, so that's really it for Camp Out. Um, if you want to check out the trailer I made, they released it on the Parallel 42 uh, channel. That was really fun to make, uh, re really get creative with some of these setups. So all right, everybody, you grease those gears, pitch some tents, and I'll see you out there camping.